In this video, I want to look at how to find the sides of a right angle triangle using a formula called Soka Toa. Okay, now I'll explain the steps of success later on. This is a well-known uh, acronym for three formulas. This is SO. SO stands for sine of an angle. CA C A H stands for CA, and this is Toa. So let me let us understand this formula. And we'll come to the example. So this formula, this is how you read the formula. S stands for sine of an angle. And for angle, the, the generally in book, books you may have, you may see a Greek letter theta use. So this is how you read the formula. So S stands for sine. Sine theta is O stands for opposite over hypotenuse. So sine, when sine is a ratio, Sine of an angle is a ratio between two sides, which is the opposite over hypotenuse. So this is how you can, if you cover up sine, if you cover up S, okay, hopefully you can't see S there. If you, can you see the S there in, through the, through the wheel? Okay, so S is O divided by H. So O is sitting above H, and this is a division line. That's how you can remember. So this is sine is or sine theta is O divided by H. Okay, now if you cover up, oops, I have to, okay, if you cover up O, if you cover up O, this formula can be written as O is S times H. So when they're sitting together, you multiply them. So that is sine theta times H. Okay, so in fact, there are three formulas here. And if you cover up, say H, if you want to find H, so you cover up H, so H would be, again, yeah, this and this are divided. So they are sitting, this is above S, so H, if you want to find hypotenuse, which is, uh, H is the abbreviation for hypotenuse. So for hypotenuse, you go O divided by sine theta. Okay, so this is, there are three formulas you can read. So sine theta is O divided by, so let me remove that. So sine theta is O divided by H. O, that is opposite, is sine theta times height. Oh, sorry, times hypotenuse, not height. And hypotenuse is O divided by sine theta. So let me use a different color here. For cos theta, so let me draw a line here. This is a dividing line. Okay, so how do you read this formula? This formula is read, read is read like this. C stands for cos, so that is cos of an angle it is always adjacent or the angle side or the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So the same principle you cover up C. So this and this are A is on top of H, so this is A divided by H. If you don't like understand this, you can also write this as A divided by H. A divided by H. Okay. So if you cover up now A, oops, if you cover up A, if you cover up A, what will you, how will you read this? A would be this times this. Okay, that is C stands for cos, that is cos of an angle times hypotenuse. And finally, if you cover up H, you'll have H is equal to A divided by, I'll use the division sign, A divided by cos theta. And I hope you can understand how to read this formula. So let us look at the first question. So this is a triangle. This angle is given to be 63 degrees. This is the longest side, and this side is given to be x. And we want to find what is x. That's the question. And the answer should be in two decimal places. Okay, the first step is to label the sides. First, the label the sides which you are dealing with. So you're dealing with this side, which is the longest side, and that is the hypotenuse. So we'll label this as h. And this is the opposite to this angle. So this is your O. And 
let us always label the angle as theta. So this is the angle theta. So you've done the first step. The next is to decide the formula. Deciding the formula means you have to decide whether you're going to use so, ka, or toa. So which trig ratio uses O and H? So, okay, this should jump out at you. So, so is the formula that we should be using. So we decided that. And now draw the formula. Draw the formula triangle. So I've drawn the formula triangle. So this is what we have to uh, use. And now write down the formula, required formula. So there are three formulas we need to find. So let me cover. So let me, I want to find O. So I'm covering O. So I'll say O is this times S times H. S stands for sine of the angle times hypotenuse, which is H. So let us now, so we have written down the formula. And the final step is substitute the value. So what is O? O is X. So X is equal to sine 63 times hypotenuse, which is 45. So I've got a scientific calculator. So what you have to do is, so in scientific calculator, you press 63 first. This is in degrees, okay? This should be set in degrees. So 63 is sine. In some calculators, you can press sine 60. Can you see? It is sine in degrees. So sine 63 is point eight nine. This is the whole number. Times, this is a times key, times 45 equal for 40.095 okay this is 40.095 the third decimal value is 5 and if the third decimal value is 5 6 7 8 or 9 you to increase the second decimal value by 1 so 0.09 if you increase that by 1 that will be 40.10 so as you're rounding to 2 dp your x you have to write as 40. Point one zero. The units are not given, so I'm not writing units. So this is 2 dp. So this is how you work out the formula or work out the value of x. Let's look at one more question. Let's go through the process now. So here, the first thing is we need to label the sides and the angle. So first, this is the angle. This is the angle that they have given. So that is theta, that is 18 degrees. Okay, now this is the, for the, with respect to this angle, this is the opposite side. This is O, and what is this side? This is the side with the angle. This is the side that is sitting with the angle. Okay, in some books they call this is the adjacent side. I like to say, name this as A, or remember it as the side which is with the angle, okay, or along with the angle. So that is O and A. So we don't need to label hypotenuse because that's not given. So we are dealing with O and A. Now look at the three formulas. You've got SO, SOH, you've got CA, CAH, and TOA, which is TOA. So which formula would you use? So which form trig ratio uses opposite and adjacent? So this should jump at you. Or jump out at you. So TOA is the formula that I should be using. So so we have decided the formula. Now draw the triangle. Draw the formula triangle. So this is a formula triangle. So write TOA like this. TOA. So that's the third step done. Write down the required formula. So there are three formulas here. So I will cover this up. Always good to go through the process. I'll cover this up. So I have to need to multiply this too. So O, let me use the brown color. So O is equal to T. T stands for the 10. That is 10 theta times A. So this is the fourth step. And the final step is to substitute. So let us substitute. What is O? My O, your O is X. So X is equal to 10 of the angle. 10 is 18 times A. A is 5. So now you need to use a calculator to figure this out. 
So let me cancel this. So this is cancelled. So you can press 18, 10. That this is 10, 18. So the D that you can see is for degrees. So 10, 18 is this times 5 equal. So it is 1.624. So the fourth, the third decimal place is less than 5. So you don't increase or decrease the second decimal place. So your answer is 1.62, it's 1.62 and you always need to write the uh, rounding. I have rounded this to two decimal places, 2 dp. Okay, the last question. Okay, uh, how will we do this? So here you got, this is the angle, so let's first label the angle. You're dealing with, so this is the this is the right angle and this is the side which is opposite to the right angle. So this is your hypotenuse, so that is H. And this is the side which is sitting along with the angle. Okay, can you see this is the side that is sitting with the angle that we are talking about. So this is your A or angle side. Okay, so now you label the sides okay, and the angles. Now you have to decide the formula. Okay, you got A and H. So which formula would you use? So, Ka or Toa? The trig ratio which uses A and H is Ka. C A H is Ka. So you decided that formula. The third step is draw the triangle. So draw the triangle C A H. Okay, once you decide the formula, you have to write down the required formula. So you can as this formula can be written in three different ways, you need to cover what you want to find. So I'm covering up A. Can you see the A? Though you have covered it. So now this and this are sitting underneath and you have to multiply it. Write down the required formula. So A is equal to C stands for cos of the angle times hypotenuse. Okay. So yeah, let us, that step is done. And finally, the last step, substitute the values. So, what is A? My A is X. So, that is X is equal to cos of theta. What is theta? Theta is 42 times hypotenuse, which is 8. Okay, that is X is equal to, get your calculators out. So, let me delete this first. So, 42 cos. So is cos, this is cos. So cos 42 is this point seven for this huge number. Times, this is the star key first, times 8 is equal to 5.945. So again, you've got the third decimal value, which is 5. So it increased the second decimal value by 1. So it will be 5.95. So your x is 5.95. And that's your, this is in 2DP. Okay, let me do the last question. One more question here. Okay, here you have got, again, the same process, label the sides. So this is your angle. So let me first label the angle. Here you've got X, which is the hypotenuse. Okay, and this is your opposite side. So label the side. Now you're dealing with O and H. So you're using so. Okay, so that is decided. The third is draw the formula triangle. So I'll write S O H like this. Okay, and now write down the required formula. Now we want to find H. So I need to cover up. So let me cover up H. And this is why I did this example to show you. It's not always multiplying. Okay, so this is step is that's why it's very important. So here, when you cover up H, O and S are sitting one above the other. So your H, so O is sitting on top of S, so O comes first. O divided by S, O divided by S, and S stands for sine of the angle. Okay, so your now the last step is substitute the value. Your hypotenuse is X is equal to your O. What's O? O is 9 divided by sine of the angle, sine of the angle, which is 42. 
So let's get the calculator out. So let me delete this. So you go 9 divided by, where's the division key? This is divided by 42 sine. 42 sine, sine, so can you see this is 9 divided by sine 42, which is in degrees. You press equal is 13.45. It does make sense. I'll explain why it makes sense. It's 13.450, so I'll not round up or down. So it is 13.45. X is 13.45. Now, why does it make sense? This is in 2 dp because the hypotenuse is the longest side. So the answer that I was supposed to get had to be greater than 9 and it does make sense. Okay, so there are two more examples. I think so. I want you to look at this example. I'll give you a few seconds to take down this example. I want you to do this yourself. Okay, deciding the right formula. So this is one formula, one example that you can do. And... This is the next example. Again, take your own time to write down this example, go through these steps, and try to do it yourself. And as I think this is the last. Try to go through all the steps, label the sides, and go through all the steps. So there are three examples for you to do.